Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. So today I like to share with you on the critical mind element functions for meditation, qigong, and internal art practice. So what happened is after I have a conversation with uh, many of our friends, I found out that uh, it is important to know the uh, the critical mind element function uh, to practice meditation, qigong, and internal martial arts. Uh, one need to know this, otherwise one will not get a, a really solid result on this because one really don't uh, practice it properly. So. So this is the S model, and uh, as the S model say that uh, that is an intelligent world, and then there's a natural world. So uh, when one practice, say, meditation, qigong, or internal martial art, one can uh, get from the intelligent world into the natural world, and then from here, be able to go back to the intelligent worlds. So one be able to make use or make the best use of uh, one's body, mind, energy. And of course, uh, when the practice go uh, deeper, one be able to uh, make even better use of the body, mind, and uh, energy. However, that is an issue here. The issue is, we know that this is a natural world, like the world of the baby. This is the intellect world where you know we can uh, invent computer and so forth, or have strategy or so forth. That's the intelligent world. And then the baby, this is the natural world. Now the question is, the biggest question is, so how is one get from here? the intelligence world into the natural world. Now, if this is not solved and not clearly stated out, then uh, the practice of Qigong meditations and uh, internal art will not uh, likely to succeed. Okay? Because the key to the enter into the natural world need to be known and handle. So, as uh, we know from the S model, uh, there is uh, four elements here, okay, four elements here. So, namely, the four layer model is namely the physical, the mind, the breathing, and the energy neuron. Now, this is a model of us human. And when we want to work with uh, ourselves to uh, get from the natural, the, the intelligent world to the natural world, then we know we need to work with these four uh, elements, okay? Or four layer, if you wanted to uh, call it that way. So we need to handle our physical, the mind, the breathing, and then uh, we can have some handling on the energy neural layer or the element, or uh, in the ancient, in the Chinese call it the qi element. Until the physical mind breathing is handled properly, one really can have an effective or uh, efficient way of the handling the, the, the qi element. And uh, this go for the sequence also. Uh, it has to uh, uh, work with the physical first, mind, and then breathing, and then the energy. It cannot be jump. If it jump, then it can problem again. So uh, it has a sequence of how it should be handled or trained or work or develop, and also one need to know that uh, these four elements, they are actually uh, one element, 
uh, they are actually one. The reason why I model this as a four-layer model is so that uh, we know how to handle things step by step clearly and properly instead of uh, the entire thing as a chunk and uh, we don't even know uh, whether we are working with the, the energy element or the mind element or the breathing element. Uh, you, one just cannot have effective and efficient training if we don't have this model. Now, so each of these elements, we need to know how to do it, how to handle it. Uh, how to lose the physical element, you know, how to define the state, and so forth, so forth. Now, in the mind element, which is I'm going to share with you today, is very important because uh, most people fail to know this, and uh, that's why they cannot get, uh, get a result in their meditations or qigong or, or, or internal practice. And... Uh, in the mind layer models, in the mind layer, in the mind layer, actually there are four functions within the mind layer. Yeah, there's a four function that when we talk about mind, mind, there are four functions. That, that is the, uh, the, the, the awareness function, the attention function, the imagination function, and the thinking function. One need to know that, so one know that uh, what one is evoking when one doing a certain thing, okay? It's like when we do calculations like uh, 55 uh, multiplied by 65 uh, multiplied by 5, that is thinking. Awareness is, you're just aware. That is uh, the, the, the function, it comes. When you drop the thinking, drop the imaginations, and you drop the attention, you're just aware. It's just like when you sit in the forest doing nothing, you, you're aware. You're aware of all the sound behind it uh, in, in the forest and, and so forth, so forth. Okay? You don't even have to pay attention. You just go sit down there, relax, and, and you're aware. Imagine it's like a, yeah, usually when people uh, practice uh, qigong or anything or meditation, they can't imagine using their imagination like there's a light or so forth, so forth. Okay, now, so this is for function. When one practice meditation or qigong and internal, one need to know which function is using, one is using. Unless this is specified, it is trouble. And uh, we know also that uh, the mind and the imagination can run on and drift away. Say, uh, say we are in the forest. We're sitting down there by a, a, a river. And then uh, we're aware of everything, everything, everything. And suddenly we heard a noise, like somebody screaming. Then right away, our mind, our thinking will say, Oh my God, there might be some, uh, some kinds of uh, uh, disaster. And then we might thinking, Oh, somebody might get hurt. And then that's run on. It keeping running on, running on, and uh, it just go no end to it. Okay? Uh, imagination, the same thing. Then you, 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 your, your thinking keep run on. Somebody uh, might get hurt. And then you might think, Oh my God, there might be a, 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 a tiger or a zombie attacking and, and all kinds of stuff. So whatever you watch in the movie might come in. That, that's your imaginations. So this is all the, uh, the, the, the mind function. If we don't know which we are, uh, which, which we are using and, and, and handling it, you're going to run into those kind of things. That means we have no idea how to handle this mind layer. Now, this mind layer model is important because... As the S model, if you want to enter from the intelligent world into the, the, the natural world, okay, from here to here, the first thing you need is using the awareness function, okay? One need to drop the thinking and imagination function. One need to use awareness functions in the mind element. That is the ticket for one to get from the intelligence world into the natural world. 
Uh, as my example just now, when you sit in the forest beside the river, it's very good that uh, we just there listen to the flow of the water, you know, enjoy the fresh uh, air aware in the uh, in the forest. We, uh, we we calm down and we aware more on the forest. However, the minute we thinking we heard the uh, somebody screaming, then we thinking and your imaginations. You are not going to get to the natural world. You're going to stuck here in the so called intelligent world, and then uh, before you know, you're going to get into oh maybe this is the uh, the zombie attacking human. Okay, over here. Or you have the AI robots attacking human. Okay, you can all sort of stuff. So the key, the critical key, to get from point one to the natural world, that is the awareness. Any meditation, if it's not using the awareness of the mind uh, element, one simply is get locked out from the natural world. So if you're thinking, oh, I thinking there's a heat in my uh, lower abs, all this, uh, how the chi circulate in my my body, forget about it. You just make 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 a mess here, lock yourself up, and that's for sure. Sure, you can generate all kind of sensation. What, well, as we're always saying, what is that sensation different? You say, well, I get. You know, somebody said, "Why, well, you know, you pay attention to your lower abs, then you, you, you think that there's a, a, a ball of fire within your lower abs, and then you get this heat, and there's chi. I said that, you know what? What's the difference between that and you go to watch a porno movie? You get your all uh, lower abdomen heat up, your entire body heat up, or you're going just... Uh, Go to watch the 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 the, uh, the 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 zombie movie, and you get all scared up and all this tense, and then your 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 entire body running wild and so forth. What's different? Nothing different. While entering to the natural world, meaning that one has to drop that, just go get into the awareness. So the techniques has to be able to use the awareness. Okay. So one use the awareness of, of this uh, mind element function to enter into this na- the first step of the natural world. Okay. Only by that one can develop the calmness. Okay. So, an example again, when we are sitting in the river beside uh, in the forest, we sit beside the river in the forest. We just listen, and uh, we just uh, enjoy. And uh, that is using awareness, and then you calm down, and then your awareness increases. Okay, so that's the first. The, the, is this here the first step when one is uh, enter into the natural world? That's how the the calmness is going to uh, 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 raise uh, raise or develop your your, uh, your 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 awareness. Okay, or magnify your awareness. The more calmness, the, the more your awareness is. And then when you get into the third stage here, this is, will be calmness and awareness uh, in peril develop. So say, uh, when if we went to go practice Anapanasati, which is the Samatha practice, okay, the calmness practice, that is actually using the uh, awareness to get into this state. Okay, and then once we get into this state, we can practice vipassana to get to the third state, and continues on. And if anybody talk about Zen, okay, Zen, the Zen is actually the Zen is actually the Zen Chan is actually. Because it is uh, what they call sudden enlightenment stuff, it is actually in this here. It has the, uh, the, 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 the calmness and awareness support okay, of the practice. So, 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 so Zen is not just uh, you're talking big, thing, big, uh, big words or, 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 or I call it fantasy here. It is here. Okay? So, uh, one need to know this, how to get from here with awareness and how this calmness is uh, developed, awareness is, uh, 
is is growing or you know uh, 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 rising, and then over here start from here, the calmness and awareness, your samatha and vipassana is uh, actually actually growing in the same time, stronger and stronger, stronger and stronger. And, and there's Zen. And then if you say, well, what is a Buddha? Buddha is actually the person who have a full awareness. We don't have because uh, all our, this, 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 this thinking, imagination and so forth is blocking us. Okay. Uh, the, deep, the difference between one guy and the other guy is just uh, somebody might get blocked more. Okay. So, as a, this is a human function, usual human function, so you have calmness and you come, and actually that is associated with your awareness. And then a different level of your calmness, uh, you associate with different level of awareness. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the calmness, state of relaxed uh, level, you will get a clear mind, and then when you really calm down, <coughs> you can get mindful. This is this human function. And then, uh, so calmness is, again, is dropping thinking and imaginations. So why do you want to count your breath? You want to count your breath because you want to drop those thinking and imaginations. So the notion of anapanasati is to drop that, uh, that, that thinking. So by counting your, your breath, so you don't think, you ma don't imagine, you're counting your breath. When you settle down, you drop that, uh, that, 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 that counting and right away you just aware of your breathing. That is anapanasati. Okay, that is the beginning of it. And then when you go to vipassana, that means you are aware and you, you, your calmness and awareness is uh, actually in equal and you're keeping aware, aware, and then your awareness grows. That's vipassana. So uh, if we don't know this, it's hopeless. We, we don't know what to practice. Now, if you want to do the qigong, well, you need to get into that awareness too, the calmness awareness too. Then your body can settle down, your energy, your, your, your four, uh, four elements, your, uh, your this four layer elements can settle down and uh, you can... Uh, uh, you you can know them and then uh, you can uh, you can uh, handle them. Okay, same with the internal martial. Say somebody say sometimes you no know, Wing Chun is good for sensing sensing your opponent, sensing the force. Well, what is sensing? Sensing is awareness. Okay. So uh, if one practice the uh, the 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 uh, the uh, meditations or qigong and so forth. From here, one be able to get here, and then of course you're gonna get back. Be able to get back. The more they go into the nature, the more get back, the better they can handle their mind, body, uh, breathing, energy, and their 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 their, their, their mind element. So uh, it is this. So uh, the more one get into the calmness, develop the calmness, and of course when you develop the calmness, you develop the awareness too, then your handling of the thinking, imagina in imaginations and attention, uh, you have a better and effective use of it when you reach this, uh, the third level here. Okay? So, so, so if... The trained one will be able to handle this much. The, uh, the, the really uh, high skill will be able to use this much of the uh, thinking, imaginations, intention. The, the one like us who is never, uh, never trained, we, even, we don't even know that this exists. And uh, like sometimes when I tell people that, uh, you know, you can drop the thinking. So what do you mean by drop the thinking? Okay? Because they never actually being guided how, what is it mean uh, to, to get into the state of the mind element of dropping the mind, drop, uh, dropping, sorry, dropping the thinking, dropping the intent, uh, imaginations, and in, uh, in attention, intention, all kind of stuff. They never get coached to go through each function, identify every function in the mind element. Okay? 
you don't have to be uh, even in meditations, okay? Uh, just get somebody who knows how to coach you and uh, get you to understand what it is. And then uh, if one have the calmness develop and uh, awareness, of course, is going to develop. Like uh, when you are here. So another is that if you are here, if you are here, you come up to here. This this part of oh, let me let me draw it properly. If you are here, you are come back to here. If you go back, you'll be able to handle thing much better. Okay, so uh, it is like here. It is like this. It is like this. It is like here, basic body mind handling, which means that uh, one is uh, from here, be able to get into this natural state and then go back. So they have the basic. Now, if one is from here and then be able to get here, get to here and go back, that will be like, uh, like over here. So one get to here, one have this uh, this this uh, this, uh, this much handling, okay. So in other words, uh, if one just have a, a, a low level, this much one can handle. If one have a high level, then it is this much one can handle one's body, mind, breathing, and energy. So this is uh, to share with you today. Hopefully that uh, everybody benefit from this and get result from your uh, uh, meditation, qigong, and internal art practice.